Well, last week I released a video on uh, the new Windows Mobile uh, Outlook. And guess what? They released an update, which now includes the ability to create folders and subfolders, which everybody that has been watching uh, Windows 10 Preview has been waiting for. So let's take a look. Now, if you press on the account and you look at the folders listing underneath, if you press on Drafts or Inbox or one of the system folders, you cannot create a subfolder underneath those. But let's look at more. Let's look at the other folders. So let me go to one here. Uh, this one Drafts you can actually under that. But let's look under Inbox or, or Outbox, I should say. Can't create anything there. So let's click on All Folders at the top level. Now, as you can see, we can say create new folder at the top level, and we can go ahead and create a folder. Now, uh, I can create it and call it whatever I want. Uh, I was going to say my stuff, but I want to misspell it here so we can show you how to rename it uh, in a minute here. So, here we are. We're uh, finished in putting in the uh, a name, and all you have to do when you're ready is just hit the Enter key, and there you have your new folder. And you'll notice here that uh, instead of my stuff, I put in dot self. Never fear though, uh, you just have to, instead of uh, having to delete it and recreate it, you can just go back there, hold it, and say rename and type in the new name for their folder. And it'll rename it. And of course, uh, that'll reflect on the web uh, as well when you look at it on the web and on your desktop as well. Let's take a look. Take a look. So here I am on the desktop application. You see there it is, the dot y stuff folder that was created on the phone. And because this is an IMAP account, it gets created on the server as well. So it'll eventually synchronize. Now you can't do anything here on the desktop as of yet, but I believe these are going to be uh, Windows Universal applications, means they're written uh, on the same code and displayed differently on each device. What does that mean? That means that the functions remain the same, but just the appearance is a little bit different. So if you have a uh, Outlook or Gmail or a Hotmail that's a IMAP account, you're going to go ahead and do this folder thing, and it works just great. You look at it on your desktop, uh, you see the folders created there. You look on your phone, you can do it there. You just not cannot create and delete from your desktop as of yet. So uh, after you do all that, and let's say I'm, I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to delete it. And then after you go to that menu and choose it, and it says delete, it warns you about deletion. And I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And, then, and if we went back to the desktop, we'd see it be gone as well. Uh, so be, be careful on your phone if you're deleting stuff because it could cause a problem. Now as you can see here, you can create subfolders underneath main folders and all that. So you have full functionality either already there or coming your way soon. Besides this, on my last uh, video, I, I didn't show you how to do, uh, work with individual items. Individual listings, you have much more things you can do as far as actions with it. Uh, besides the ones you can do on when you have multiple ones selected. So there you are, some of the new functions that are going to be available or are available on your Windows Mobile 10 phone update within Outlook. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.